So here is how to install Autodesk Simulation Mechanical on your own home computer. Now the process is a little bit um, difficult, so please bear with me here. Um, so first I'm going to navigate to Canvas and find the link provided by Professor Pringle uh, to the Autodesk Simulation Mechanical website. And you can find this here under Resources in the Modules tab. So once you've got that here, uh, just ignore this comment up above and click on that link right there. So once that pulls up, it's going to pop up with the Autodesk page here and it will say that you either need an account or you have an account. So right now I'm just going to enter in my login information here just using a, a spam email address. And if you're signing up for the first time, it'll ask you to add some information about your school and that sort of thing. So if you just follow the regular process, and it didn't work for me, but it might work for you, uh, I selected the software I want, selected my operating system. You'll need a 64-bit computer to run this, but that's pretty much every computer nowadays. And if you just hit English, it will pull up this right here. It'll give you a serial number and a product key and tell you that it's going to be 7.04 gigabytes of a uh, file to download. And at this point, it's going to ask you to sign the license and service agreement and you can pretend that you read it and hit install and it's going to automatically pull up these windows now if you click on this most likely it will produce an error after it uh, runs saying something like abort error 9 or something of this sort so the workaround that I found and to get out of this file download window just hit escape on your keyboard I go over to the um, sorry uh, my profile and just go to my account and then click on management now since I've already applied for a license for it it should pop up underneath the uh, products that I have so on the left hand side here I'll click on products and it'll say simulation mechanical one seat and just ignore that um, the serial number and product key are actually good for two computers so you can do it on two of your computers or whatever. So at this point, once you've got that here, you can click on the download link here or here and just hit downloads. Now it's going to give you two files here, Autodesk Vault Basic, and that's actually a storage application. You do not need to download that in order to make uh, simulation mechanical work. And down here is the Autodesk Simulation Mechanical uh, download that we want. Now, if you click on the English language link, it's going to give you the exact same error that you'll get earlier, which is abort error 9. So if you go to the drop-down list here and select English, French, German, Italian, Japanese, that is the uh, multi language pack um, from Autodesk. And it's going to say 2 gigabytes. At this point, you want to make sure that you don't have any other options underneath this. It'll probably tell you that you can only use the browser download, which is fine. Uh, at this point just click on that it's going to pop up with this and you may need to disable your pop-up blocker but it's going to pull up two files that you'll need to download and you can differentiate between the two by the uh, 001 and 002 in that first string there so you're going to save both of those files and since they're large files as you can see 2 gigabytes and 15.9 megabytes I'm not going to download them I've already downloaded them so what I'm going to do is bring up File Explorer and go into my C drive. So once you open up those files, they're going to create, ask you to create a folder for them. And that's going to be in C Autodesk. And that's where it's going to unload all those files that we need. At this point, you're going to select the one that says Simulation Mechanical Multilanguage, or Multilingual, sorry. And then you're going to scroll down and you can either click on this setup key. Now it is important that you run both 002 and 001. Uh, I actually found that it worked better if I did 002 first and then 001. And this prior is just like your standard installation, but it can take a long time. Um, it does need to download some additional components, so make sure that you have an active internet connection. Um, the initial download is 2 gigabytes, but I believe it installs to 7 gigabytes, so just uh, be aware of that before you start. And from there, it's just your standard installer. 
and it'll just tell you to install on this computer. It'll ask you to accept this. I'm going to hit next, pretend like I read it. And then this part is where you might need to do some spelunking. It's going to give you your uh, serial numbers right here. And the first string here is your serial number, which will work on two computers. And then the 669H1 is your product code. So you can just enter those in here, hit next, and follow through with the installation. And that is how you get this to work on your home computer. And just for proof, I will show you what that looks like. I might open it up here. Autodesk, simulation mechanical. And once you've got it installed, you can also close out those windows. And just to show you that it does work, Sorry, I apologize for it taking so long. They can't make anything easy. And there you go. You got a full version of Autodesk Simulation Mechanical. Um, and it's just like the one that we have on lab computers. Um, depending on your system and what hardware you have, you may need to disable uh, graphic, graphic acceleration uh, in the hardware options. Uh, just like we've done in class. And that's it.